Hello and welcome everybody to the first talk in this year's Chemexon webcast series. My task today is to outline the full portfolio of software that Chemexon has to offer and to place in the context how this can fit into your daily work. To kick things off, I'd like to briefly mention the origins of the JCAM name, as this is something of a mystery to some newcomers. Veteran users of Chemaxon software probably already know that it stems from our origin as a provider of backend toolkits, which are written primarily in Java, hence the name JCAM. As Chemaxon has evolved from a provider of toolkits to end user applications with fully fledged interfaces, and more recently to cloud hosted solutions and services, many key components of JCAM continue to power the chemical intelligence that pervades our software. To save us all a lot of repetition throughout this talk, I'd like to mention that if you see a functionality that you would like to integrate as a backend feature, as well as the distributions I will explicitly mention for each product, it's highly likely that it's also available as a Java API. Similarly, most of our toolkits and backend functionalities can also be accessed as nodes in NIME or Pipeline Pilot, making their inclusion into your existing workflows straightforward. Additionally, since many of our full software packages have their own REST APIs, you can interact with them easily through the REST API nodes in these applications. Examples include interacting with our registration API to automate compound registration, or running calculations on scalable infrastructure instead of locally by batching calls to the JCAM microservices. Moving on to the depiction of chemistry, <clears throat> we all know that there are very few workflows we could achieve without enabling straightforward input of chemical structures and information into our systems. This applies not only to the sketching of structures in an application interface, but also the import of batches in the form of larger collection or library files. The breadth of the sources of such files is ever increasing as public data sets become more common and robust and users increase interaction with disparate CROs and other research collaborators. This means that not only must your cheminformatic infrastructure be compatible with many file types, but also that a comprehensive method must be present to check inbound structures for correctness, correspondence with business rules, and a lack of ambiguity. Essential editing of compounds, whether for import into further cheminformatic software, or as part of a manuscript preparation, is the focus of our desktop editor Marvin Sketch, a Chemaxon mainstay. We've also recently expanded the capabilities of one by one calculations in Marvin Sketch, allowing all users to run the full gamut of physical chemical property calculations that we have available. We've also brought these capabilities to our web platform Chemicalize, where we make the same quality sketching and one by one calculations available to users quickly in a self-service web browser interface. We hope this will enable individuals and small organizations get on their feet more quickly. We also provide Marvin.js, the JavaScript version of Marvin. This is a sketcher that provides the best integration experience with web applications or websites, and I'm sure you'll recognize it instantly for many of your favorite catalogs and compound providers. As well as Marvin.js deployments hosted on your infrastructure, we also make a Chemaxon hosted version available on Chemicalize Pro, our platform for API based hosting. Most Chemaxon applications are highly agnostic to cheminformatic file types. However, there remain many occasions where conversion in bulk is necessary. While one by one conversion is available in most of our sketching tools, and bulk has avail been available for some time in the command line tool MolConvert, the JCAM microservices now also enables you to perform this through a REST API. Structure Checker and Standardizer give you confidence in the cleanliness of your compound data. While Structure Checker verifies for errors in the chemistry, Standardizer ensures that the representation of your compounds align with your organization's business rules, as well as the preferences of the chemists. To complement the classic desktop application and command line tool, we also offer these as modules of the JCAM microservices REST API. Of course, they're also integrated into our compound registration application, being a key component of the registration process.
A uniform representation should be the goal not just for registration, but also any import into your database. As organizations move to highly connected and fair systems, we really need to make sure that the data at any entry point has passed quality-based gatekeeping. Machine learning techniques that are being increasingly applied by our user base rely on data to be of high quality in order to generate high quality models. My colleague Bilal recently presented on this topic and the talk is publicly available on our YouTube page, so I won't dive into it any further. If you do want to hear the latest updates on this workflow, I also encourage you to join us at our upcoming Tech Corner session for a joint talk by Ivan and Akos on data preparation and AI. We've also seen an increase in demand for cheminformatic conversion, both inter and intra workflow. While sometimes exhaustive representation is necessary, um, sometimes the compactness of less granular representations is appealing, especially when you're processing extremely large volumes of compounds. I'll speak a little now about chemical search solutions provided by ChemAxon. Being able to find structural matches in the ever-growing real and virtual library, co compound libraries possessed by our users is an essential activity, as is the ability to explore the chemical space using similarity metrics. The speed of the search is of course a major driver and ChemAxon search technologies can now search libraries in their hundreds of millions of compounds in near real time. Not only that, but the hit as you draw feature means that results are returned even as the compound is still being sketched. This results in a much more interactive search process. It allows the chemist to easily backtrack to other relevant compounds should their final search result in no matches. The chemical intelligence of the search cartridges doesn't end here. Relevance ordering for a substructure search means that results are returned in a sorted order, ensuring you investigate the most relevant compounds first. Enabling different tautomer and stereochemical search settings provides the ultimate control in the breadth of the search that you want to perform. The search capabilities are available in a number of distributions to match your particular use case. We of course have our cartridges for Oracle and PostgreSQL relational database management systems, which allows for a very tight coupling between the underlying engine and the cartridge. This results not only in very strong chemical search performance, but an outstanding performance for combined queries, where you may be searching on some alphanumeric properties stored in your database along with the structure. The JCAM microservices provides a search module, which can expose the search commands as a REST API, rather than SQL queries, and provides excellent performance for structure-only searching. As you may expect, searching of chemistry is made available in our data storage and design tools, whether querying the database in Instant JCAM, returning compounds from a database to an Excel sheet in JCAM for Office, and much more. Finally, we've also launched a self-service hosted search service on Chemicalize Pro. This is a reduced feature set of searching on Chemaxon infrastructure, and I'll speak more about it on the next slide. As I was just mentioning, we've implemented a hosted search on Chemicalize Pro, and this is targeted at smaller companies, in particular catalog companies or chemical vendors, to easily enable chemical searching on their websites. Using a simple file upload UI and pasting a few HTML snippets into your code, your users can then search chemical names or drawn structures by similarity, and substructure as well, against your current availability. As cloud infrastructure lowers the barrier to entry to ever larger databases, and our users turn to data warehouses to collect and aggregate downstream data from their host of end user applications, we see an increased demand to deploy our search cartridges on these warehouses. Our professional services team has also taken the steps to deploy these on sharded databases to preserve the required performance as the size grows to great effect. Another possible solution to ultra-large libraries are our Marcouche and rule-based search tools. These are currently at a proof of concept stage and are suitable for solutions for certain representations of compounds such as DNA encoded libraries, 
non-enumerated reaction libraries, or any Markovich representation. The search team is also testing the capabilities of an Elasticsearch plugin, broadening the portfolio of accessible searching. We've spoken at some length now about the backend tools that can be used to search your data, but what about the user-facing applications that you use to store, manage, and manipulate it? As your chemists purchase, synthesize, and theorize new chemistry, it must be accurately represented and assigned unique identifiers. This must be easy to handle at scale. Gone are the days of Excel or manually managed registries. Then, as experimental results from your chemistry arrive, the relationship between those results, repeat runs, data on lots or other salt forms, or the same compound must be intelligently organized, lest it become too burdensome to manage. There is also the question of how to add chemical searching to existing database systems, where such a requirement did not previously exist. A cloud platform synergy enables a number of different Chemaxon applications as a SaaS distribution. Central to this are the data management tools, with compound registration being used to input compounds, and assay our process data uploader, allowing you to marry compounds with experimental data results. Integrations with a chemically enhanced version of Tableau provides state-of-the-art searching, visualization, and reporting, while our document searching tools have also been added to this workflow to allow for the recognition of chemistry in your file share repositories. Our compound registration is well known in the field, offering a full enterprise solution to the registration and canonicalization of new compounds. It boasts some of the most advanced handling of stereochemistry, including apetrop isomers and enhanced stereochemistry labels for complex mixtures or unknown stereoisomers. We're also working on a biologics registration application. For those wishing to learn more about that, I encourage you to stick around for Mark Shimogi's talk in our innovation round. Instant JCAM is a mainstay of the desktop informatics world and continues to provide excellent capabilities for those seeking to mature their informatics suite while retaining the utmost flexibility in the representation of their data. The ease with which existing databases can be connected and enhanced with chemical intelligence is unparalleled. IJC also has a web viewer called Connect, which continues to add feature sets and is a good spot for users seeking a streamlined searching and charting experience with a modern feel. A number of other use cases come to mind as well. How do we search for chemistry in our file share, but enable the chemical search to recognize new corporate IDs after they've been placed into our registry? The integration that I mentioned before between our document searching tools and compound registration makes this easy and reporting in Tableau makes digests of this data straightforward to generate. Once data exists in your registry, how do we push it downstream to a dedicated search architecture where we can combine it with external data sources? Compound registration enables the publishing of data to a downstream schema out of the box, and solutions to chemical searching in this downstream was hinted at earlier, the chemical search cartridges. Instant JCAM can also step into this use case. It doesn't need to be used by itself. Indeed, out-of-box integrations of Instant JCAM with our search cartridges positions it to provide a great user interface to such a downstream cartridge search. And finally, Chemaxon is aiming to move closer to an all-in-one solution, specifically for small and medium-sized organizations that are not in a position to support the myriad of cheminformatics software as the prototype of our ELN nears completion. I encourage you to attend my colleague Zolly's talk during our upcoming session on supporting the lab to learn more. Despite all our talk of chemical databases, the sharing and handling of chemistry and documents is still essential to our communication and collaboration particularly when it comes to patents, journals, and other exterior collaborators' information. 
To expand on this, the publications and patents are released continuously, mandating the need to handle and extract such documents. The same is true for historic external documents, particularly at large enterprises, excuse me, historic internal documents, particularly at large enterprises, where the extent of such files makes it wholly impractical to do so manually. Frequent communication, documentation, and other curation of day-to-day -day work also requires us to be able to add, edit, and manipulate chemistry within a document. For large-scale or programmatic extraction, Document to Structure is the tool for you. It can scan documents, searching for recognized chemical names in a variety of types and formats, and provides chemical structures as the output. Optionally, third-party optical structure recognition, or OSR, packages are integrated in order to also recognize chemical structures in images. ChemCurator also makes use of the text and image recognition that I've mentioned, annotating documents such as patents in a user interface. This allows for a great flexibility in the exports and also enables ChemCurator's advanced Marcuse generation interface. Here you can use the recognized entities to semi-automatically replicate the Marcuse structure needed to characterize the chemical space of the patent exhaustively. The flip side of the patent workflow is the generation of patents from scratch. That is, given a set of key structures that I wish to patent, how can I quickly create a claim that covers all of these concisely? Commonly, this may also mean, how do I represent chemical space from a list of structures, or perhaps a large STF, in a single Marcuse structure. Marcuse Editor provides the tools needed for this and is capable of fully automatically generating the structure, uh, the Marcuse structure, including the text claims needed for Word or PDF documented versions. It also provides an easy color coding check so that you can import and verify additional structures to validate the Marcuse. Last but not least, JCAM for Office and JCAM for Office Lite allow you to work live with structures in your Office suite. Gone are the days of copy pasting static images from desktop sketchers. Working in JCAM for Office isn't restricted to image depiction, of course. Our calculators and many other tools are integrated into our Office suite, as well as chemical searching and import from database functionality. This allows Excel in particular to provide an easy to learn, familiar interface for chemists not yet familiar with more specialized informatics software. The creation of internal patent knowledge bases is one where our data extraction tools are very helpful. Subscription patent search databases tend to limit you to matching a particular structure to a patent, but do not then provide you with the entire Marcuse structure or some otherwise representation of the chemical space for the patent. This is where the users would step in, extracting the information from a small set of relevant patents, patents themselves in order to form a clearer picture of their freedom to operate. Of course, these Marcus handling tools build upon a Chemaxon backend software, which some people are interested in bringing into their own applications, which is perfectly manageable um, with our backend Marcus tools. Let's move to the discovery and design portion of our talk, where we'll discuss how we can help enable your design, make, test, and analyze cycle. The calculation of physical chemical properties, as well as a range of molecular fingerprints, provide instructive feedback for your designs, allowing for the intuitive prioritization and categorization of compounds. They also act as extremely useful descriptors for in-house machine learning models. One discussion we often have with users is, where do you manage your ideas? On the level of both the individual chemist, as well as as a team. How do you feed these into design tools to provide feedback to your ideas? And how do you track their synthesis once it's been prioritized? If your answer to this question, <laughs> sorry, I hope your answer to this question is better than we copy and paste between PowerPoints. Once a section of chemical space has been selected, the capability to enumerate in this space to explore what this is, is accessible to you. Many people want to answer the particular question, 
given the chemistry available to me and the building blocks or starting materials that I can easily access, what else can I make that's interesting? Our calculator and fingerprint generation software provides the full gamut of physical chemical property calculators. This includes our flagship log P and PKA calculators, accessible CNS MPO scores, and a new calculator group for ADMI tox values, starting with our HUG predictor. These are available from a variety of interfaces, both backend and integrated into many interactive UIs, such as Marvin Sketch and the standard Chemicalize online platform. Shown here is our experimental playground project, a new UI from our calculators team, which is accessible to any users who are already licensing Marvin JS as well as our calculators. Design Hub is another one of similar UI, which provides live as you design values for new ideas. This is complemented by team wide hypothesis design, sharing, and tracking to make the management of projects easy and avoid duplication of efforts. Finally, the tracking of individual compounds and new CRO management features enable all of your compound information to be visible on a single platform. Reactor is an application to enable virtual reaction-based enumeration. That is, the ability to recognize reaction center motifs on your input starting materials and manipulate the chemistry to output the possible products. Smart filtering based on chemical property rules is of course baked into the application. This is accessible uh, in the classic desktop or command line fashions, with JCAM microservices providing an excellent distribution for those expecting to scale in and out their enumeration workloads. As a short sneak peek, we also have a new virtual library tool on the horizon. Tune into RP's presentation in our upcoming session on designing new molecules to learn more about this software, aiming to marry the worlds of reaction-based and Marcouche-based enumerations. Another key point is the accessibility of generating your own machine learning models. Our calculators team is developing an easy to use trainer engine, which allows you to enrich your real life data with all calculators and descriptors and train a variety of models. The value here lies in the integration of the Chemaxon descriptors, which are directly part of the application. Again, I encourage you to join us at our Tech Corner session for a data preparation and AI talk to learn more. Shipping and compliance are always important, especially in the current times of highly distributed research teams. Verifying the controlled statuses of substances in multiple countries is key in the current CRO heavy research model and is essential for remaining compliant and ensuring the speedy receipt of your research compounds. Once you have verified compliance, you still need to generate the HTS codes required by customs officials to classify your compounds. While both of these tasks can be completed by a human expert, the complexity of the compound hierarchy in a regulation makes this a time-consuming process that is also prone to error. We can see here a summary of the breadth and depth of the classification hierarchy that is involved in proper HTS code assignment. It's thus a great target for process automation with an intelligent search tool that is regularly updated through a central source. Akash Pup will be speaking in greater depth than, than we can here on November 3rd with a talk on the generic control of substances. But overall, Compliance Checker and ChemTS combine to fulfill this entire workflow. Their modular nature allows you to easily access one or the other or both from a single joint interface. As you can see, we've endeavored to expand the accessibility to match your need for user interface, API only, or hosted applications. Last but not least, Chemaxon continues to expand its efforts in the world of chemical education. Zosimos is Chemaxon's online learning application. We want to enhance the student experience of chemical problem sets and automate the grading process in a chemically aware platform. Zosimos has several active collaborations, scaling from individual instructors and university systems to publishers and e-learning providers. 
We're excited to develop integrations with learning management systems, having recently put into place an LTI 1.3 integration, providing the basis of compatibility with platforms such as Canvas and Moodle. We hope this will further allow our users to automate the learning and grading process. Thanks for joining us in this dive into Camaxon's portfolio. I hope it's been informative to you. We're looking forward to seeing you in our later presentations and sessions and to hear more about how your workflows could benefit from our intervention.